Hey, so normally I won't do a combination more than once in a week. Um, I already did a race here in Arca, Michigan, but uh, I was running this race a couple more times because it's pretty fun. I've had some good races, and um, this time I've decided to hit record because we're in a race with Kyle Larson, a NASCAR Cup Series champion. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's not embarrass ourselves, maybe. <laughs> um, I do know that's the actual Kyle Larson because uh, the website, iRacing website, has a feature where you can uh, follow drivers and it'll tell you like uh, what they're up to or whatever. And I follow a bunch of real drivers because it's cool to see them on iRacing and everything. And uh, before I went in here, then yeah, it was the Kyle Larson I follow on there. How about that? So, not gonna get too hung up on that though. Don't wanna be like fanboy or whatever. But uh, you don't get this opportunity very often, so it's pretty cool. Instead, I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing here, and that is qualifying, trying to get a good start. It's also just a strong field. In general. Sorry, controlling the loose. Um, very strong field in general, so um, 10 car, top 10 here would be a, a success. So I'm looking forward to it. These races have been great, so. I'm gonna try to save tires pretty good. So that uh, definitely is a thing. And I'm about to hit all time best. One more lap. Not bad. Always feels good to get an all time best in qualifying. See if we can uh, move even a little further, maybe. Nope! <laughs> oh god, it snapped on me. That was looking really good though at first. Uh, we just carried too much speed. I was gonna see if I could control it because I already had a good lap on the first time. <laughs> and it was just like, uh uh, you're going too fast, buddy. <laughs> so, there we are. Um, about a tenth up on second though, right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think we should be able to. Oh, hi. I guess the rears are still, still hot. Um, so we should be, still be able to get a good uh, Q spot from that. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. Gonna try to lift right about here and uh, do like a cut down and then get into the gas. Use this seam here to try to get it turning. Uh, ben got the pole. He's always fast. <laughs> he's always in these ARCA cars. It feels like every race I join here he's in it. But uh, I've become familiar with him, and he's very fast all the time, so not too surprising. He was able to snag that. Um, I haven't had any bad experiences with him. that will be good racing, I imagine. But, uh, yeah. So far, still holding on to second. I'm sure we still got some people coming by, though. Uh, I don't think... Uh, you may notice like Kyle Larson's number 11. I don't think he's done too many races on iRacing. I remember looking at his page a while back and he, uh, he races once in a while, but um, not only has he just not done as many races, but also like he's really into dirt racing, so I imagine he's probably doing a lot more dirt races too. I don't know, I don't, I don't really remember all that much, but uh, that's why that's why I'm somehow ranked higher than him or whatever, it's just less races run. So, uh, not too much longer, about a minute before we get going. Uh, hopefully I can use what I've learned just doing races for fun, um, to have some good pace. Yeah, as usual, like, my problem has been driving it too hard at the start, so I'm gonna do what I can to, like, break do a little bit of that, and then uh, not turn the wheel, get on the gas, get some rotation, straddle the seam, anything I can do to get it turning without turning the wheel, essentially. Oh, we're ready to go. Lots of names I recognize in here. I run Arca so much that I, I start recognizing a whole bunch of names. Oops, skipped past session last lap. Okay. Mm hmm. Can't change any of that because we're in the pits. 
got the number one right behind us. We might try to mimic them. If uh, if they're doing something a little different, I think I think I got a good idea of what it takes to uh, stay quick in the long run. Did that guy just get on mic? Ginger. Said he got on mic to clear his throat. Like ahem, <laughs> like he's gonna make an announcement. All right. Hey, Cal, can you hear me? Of course, someone's going to try to be friends with Kyle Larson. Leave him alone. <laughs> Imagine a lot of drivers oh, probably thing try thing. not to get on here. Because people you know, probably alone. don't leave him alone. But... Come on. You've been doing this how long? You don't get any I'm really here. I got it. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Oh, rolling already? <laughs> I ended up P2, by the way. I didn't say anything about that. I feel like I start P2 a lot. I feel like I uh, put a solid qualifying lap in, and then there's just like one person that like gets a whole tenth on me. Like someone that's just super fast. And then I end up starting second, which is just the worst place to start. <laughs> One left to green. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. It's, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get a jump. Keep an eye on my left. Hopefully, uh, yeah, not get run over. Pit limiter up. I'm pretty sure it's an options. Like you go to options, and then there's a option to uncheck. Yep, sure is. By the driving line and all that. Next, oh yeah? Yeah, a driving lane. So. Gotta remember that, uh, gotta keep my re uh, my expectations realistic here. The past couple of races I've been like the four car, three car and stuff, um, when I was running this, and this time I'm on the ten, so there's gotta be really fast guys in here, and I uh, don't wanna drive over my head and end up making a dumb mistake or something, so. Just gonna do my best, but not try to do more than my best and end up causing a problem. So. That should be alright. Get ready, going green. Nose. Green, green, green. That's a little right. bit late on the shoots there. Not a great jump. We're now on the outside. Inside. Still there, inside. Clear. Clear us. It's fine. Not so interested in battling right now. Guess he's gonna protect inside. the inside. Still inside. Clear. Whoa, you really slung it in there. <laughs> I forget what I said about trying to copy what he does. I mean, even if that is the right thing to do, that looks real scary. Not so sure about that one. Clear inside. So I remember another race I did with the number two. Same number two. Uh, earlier in the week, he ended up falling off a little later in the run, so uh, we might end up seeing that again. So if he gets out to a bigger lead, then uh, not too worried about it. Although he may have learned by now, with how many times he does this, that how to be that fast and also not kill the tires. So that might be real speed. So we do that lift off uh, early in the corner, maybe enter the corner with a little less speed, trying to do a cut down. Uh, that kind of seems like a uh, has seemed to be a good way to keep the tires on. It. 
hit the seam a little bit. So that way it's turning left without the wheel turning left. I don't know. We'll see how much, uh, how well it works. But uh, if we can just maintain our position here, I'd be pretty darn happy with that. Oh, it is scary when it gets on that seam, though. When it's turning and it's not necessarily you, the one turning it. It's a bit of a scary feeling, but uh, good old force feedback. Gives you an idea of how far it's doing it. And, uh, can kind of fight it off a little bit. I really hope that too falls off, because <laughs> he's uh, he's stretching that lead. So uh, Kyle Larson on the relative for a moment there. He's uh, probably back there battling. Or saving tires, or both. I'm sure there he is. Seventh place it says. Just moved into sixth, I guess. You could easily find his way up here. Hey. That one's pretty spread out right now. That's uh very interesting. It's not necessarily how uh, the other races I've done have gone. They've uh, been a lot closer. Maybe it's just different levels of tire saving going on, so uh, different average speeds. We might find ourselves crunching back together for too long. Hopefully with less actual crunching and more, you know, Clean racing. <laughs> it's been pretty good this week so far. These, uh, just the two mile checks in general with the Arca car have been super fun. Um, Auto Club was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, here at Michigan, I guess it's just you got a lot of space, so guys are running into each other less, and uh, it's not completely flat out because, you know, the Arca car, I mean, you see them, they're not just flat to the ground. You do got to lift off a little bit. So you're not just getting huge pack racing. So they've been uh, pretty good fun. Auto Club uh, was the high side in the Arca car. That was pretty crazy. High side's not the way here. Um, I guess because uh, there's more banking. You want to be lower on the track here. It's just the shorter way around. It's not awful, but it's not where you want to be. You'll lose a couple tenths every corner if you try to do it. Plus, it's just bad on the tires when you're running in the high line. Pretty much any time you're running the high line, in general, it's uh, it's a bad idea for a tire wear. As much as I hate that, I just love running the high side. You can see now, we're really underdriving it. Well, not underdriving, but being careful to get our speed from uh, from the exit of the corner rather than driving it in hard. So what I'm doing here is to uh, try to save the tires. Uh, Nick Nieben mentioned in one of his races recently um, I think it was Arca here at uh, Michigan. What his strategy was, what he's thinking of when he's trying to save tires, and that kind of gave me a little more insight into uh, what I should be trying to do. Describing, uh, you know, not necessarily that you're going slower, but the speed that you're trying to achieve is from, you know, approaching it at a different angle. He kind of just, he mentioned it in much better words than that, but... Uh, you know, I uh, thought that was very interesting. Uh, trying to apply that uh, wisdom. So he's been on this on i racing much longer than I have. Um, so anyway, that's uh, why I really enjoy watching other people's videos, and uh, I watch a ton between Nick, Gavin, and 
Justin, Schuler, and all kinds of guys. I can't name them right now because I'm starting to catch this one car and I'm starting to need to actually focus on that. But um, yeah, there's always something to learn from watching another guy's race, um, see how the races go, uh, aside from just being entertaining. So uh, he's tight, I guess. So we're just going to come on down here. Keep low. We'll see how hard he fights it. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Use some tire to do it. But, uh, got out in front of him and cleared him. Hopefully the six doesn't try to take advantage. All right, now we're in a great position. We might actually be able to reel in this two car if he did tear off his tires. And, uh, well, we're gonna have to fight off the six too because he's also been saving. But uh, we're not even halfway in this thing and uh, I feel like we're in a good spot. I am a fan of that type of it. You feel it wearing a bit. But uh, nothing too uh, concerning. My uh, biggest concern right now is not over driving it while trying to save tires. Uh, while trying to, uh, sorry, while trying to stay in front of uh, the six car. So I want to stay in front of him, but I also don't want to kill my tires doing it. So we're also not catching the two all that fast. It seems about like one and a half. Our 1.5 a lap. So it's not like he's falling off a cliff. He might have also gotten out there and then decided to start uh, saving hard. So our advantage may or may not uh, remain. He visually looks closer, but the relative says he's about the same he was last lap. So I guess it's all in my head. Try to get a little closer to that seam, maybe. Just I really feel like most people driving in low usually can handle getting that rotation is important. Inside. He's gonna dive it in on us. Stay high the car on the low Guess he side. felt we left the door open too long. Stay Appreciate high. you keeping it off the track there, Brian. Still there. Yeah, hopefully we can avoid losing too much time to him. To well, the guy up front. Negotiating this. Like trying to run us over from behind. Like some space. I'm still trying to save tires. Real close to our rear end, making me nervous. It's hard to uh, not push whenever a guy's almost literally pushing the back of your car. I guess he's going for it. Still there, inside. Keep high. Stay high. Clear. Inside. Still there at the bottom. 
really close to my left side. Sounds so loud in my left ear. I just don't think it's time to push yet. Would have been really nice to keep that track position, but the tires are just going to fall off if I try to push too hard. Isn't that so amazing? Also, excellent choice of spot. This is the uh, three. Hmm. I was going to say, is the three going to get railroaded, but not quite. This guy's way too close to me on my right rear. Like, he's literally pushing me down to the apron. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear up top. <clears throat> At least maybe we'll go get the race with Kyle Larson here if I follow back even more. <laughs> or maybe I should start pushing. I don't know, man. I didn't even realize. Is that the six? Did he catch? Got ten left to go. No, those are lap cars, maybe. I can't tell what's going on up there. Too busy. <laughs> kind of got something going on right now, you know. Three, four. So it looks like a lap car is like giving him bump draft. I don't. I guess. I don't know what that's about. Or why you're helping the leader who's clearly got an advantage already. Even they're friends or something. But you see that blue car up there, he's like pushing the leader. I don't know. Quite sure what's happening there. Scene, alright. See, the car doesn't even really feel that bad, I say sliding. Um, doesn't feel all that bad. Guess, uh, maybe I just needed to push a little more? I have no idea. It's just something I didn't quite do well with the timing, uh, I think, of uh, when to push, how hard to push, all that. We're still here, though. I mean, we're not a mile back. These guys get side by side, we're still kind of in it. And as I mentioned at the start, I'm the 10 car, so top 10 is still great. Very happy with the top 10 still if we end up there. And you know, beating the NASCAR Cup Series champion. <laughs> They all kind of seem like they're content going in a line. I think they're trying to uh, not be side by side to try to catch the leader. That's a smart move. They're running out of time though. Right, not going to be in the three. Kind of like peeking their nose in, like they're going to make some moves. Uh-oh, that Crown Royal car's looking sideways. I guess it's a controlled slide. It looked pretty sideways there for a second, though, unless that was just a trick of the shadows or something. Take a corner, I think. And yeah, maybe went a little too low. Lost a little bit of momentum off of the corner. Carl Larson's behind us now. He's a second half back, though. He's gonna 
the uh, safe tires is going to have to use them. Catch us. It's only five laps to go now. Crown Royal's still getting real sideways, it looks like. He must have a lot of wheel in it. He's using his tires up at this point. Is uh, six falling back? He got worn tires. Oh, side by side though. It's helping us catch up. If I go for a pass, I think I'm gonna try it on the outside, if possible. See how well it works, but. I feel like I'm, I would do a better job if I tried it out there. Come on, Colter. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. What a great combo, though. This is so fun. I really don't mind uploading two of these onto the channel. Just because it's such good racing. First race was good. I don't think I've had a bad race yet. Even just the races I did for fun. And then here's the second upload of it. It's been so clean. Clean and very competitive. Difficult to pass, but that makes it intense. It's not impossible, just difficult. Get the car turning when you get that throttle down. As long as it catches, it's uh, pretty good shape. Uh, went a little wider there. See how this turn turns out. Should give us a better runoff. Looks like it did. I think I might try that a couple more times. Because by the time we get to the end of this long straight. We've made up some time. Two laps left. Eh, cut down a little sooner there. Didn't really give me the runoff I was looking for. Man, I'm so close to that top five, I would love it, but Let's see if it's uh, in the cards. Yeah, last lap wasn't so good with that wider entry because that was point zero six better. <laughs> Although, yeah, there goes that uh, the extra run we had. But it really wasn't that much, so maybe uh, it's not as good as I thought. Yeah, you see that turn when you smack the throttle. It's a good feeling. Oh, that guy. Speaking of smack, oh, almost in the wall. Kick the throw! Come on, turn, turn! Nah, <laughs> we had nothing. We weren't gonna catch him. Oh, they're close. <laughs> Good one. I appreciate it. Sixth place. That's it. We're done. Good one. Good race on the ride. It's over. Great job. You did Good win. Good race. This uh, combo has been a lot of fun this week. Thanks, Colton. All right, sixth place, top ten. Beat Kyle. I think we would not do in a real car. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, that's that. Sixth place, uh, out of an expected tenth. I guess I didn't save very well. I mean, I started pushing at the end, so obviously it's not going to look too good here. But uh, hmm, it's just never-ending story. Fifty-two seventy. Yeah, so like, we beat him, but he, he had the track position, so... Yeah, 13. 59.66. I guess I was a little too hard in still. I could have lifted a little earlier, maybe. Maybe that's what I would do. Okay. Appreciate you not holding the line, bud. Ooh, we got people fighting. 
Let's find out why in the incidents. Yeah, so I guess, uh, Ben Wynn up there knows how to be fast and, uh, keep the tires on it enough not to fall back. A little bit of wall on entry. Ooh. Someone kind of just pushed him out of the way. I don't know if it's intentional, but it's kind of what it looked like. All right, Larson into the uh, entry wall. That's, I talked about it the last time, I think. The last time I did it. But, like, you see the wall, like, jets out right here. <laughs> so. That's a real thing. I, I guess it's a quirk with the, uh, oh my. Gary gets taken out. Oh, I guess it's a, a problem with the uh, safer barrier or something. Or just the way the track was built. Kind of just juts out there. It's easy to get into it. Uh oh, there's some more guys running into each other. That's some blocking. Yeah, you kind of are asking for it if you're going to be blocking like that. That's what they're yelling about in the comments. Blocking for 10th. Nah, you deserve it, 15. 13 didn't even come up and get you. He just got his nose on you finally after you tried to block for an hour. Nah. Assume it, I'm assuming that's what those guys are were talking about. Nope, 15 got what you deserve for blocking. Uh, excessively. It's not even... It's lap 14. You're not even halfway through the race. Uh, I'm on the other guy's side. It's gonna be a wall on exit. Car's too tight. Oof. Probably gonna happen again. This is the result of it happening again. Number eight. That's a fun, like, square D scheme. Used to seeing it, like, on, uh, what was it, like, Bobby Hamilton's people. He had, like, I think he had it on the truck or something, too, when he was in the truck. I can't remember. But when I see square D, I associate it with Bobby Hamilton. Your leader and eventual winner. Having this uh, race figured out. Oof. I don't know why we're seeing this, but I saw the. I think it was the four behind them getting on that seam and getting loose. Getting close. If I was kind of drifting up in front of them a little bit, but nothing too bad. Four's got to run, he's going to take, he's going to take it three wide. Yeah, I think it's better of it, there's not enough room for it, so it backs off. So we'll maybe back, oh, that was the end of the race, that's why. Oh, that all makes sense, that makes more sense than why you're going hard. I don't think he even lifted off, I think he was uh, bump drafting or something. <laughs> Trying to get him, but uh, couldn't quite get past uh, not Bobby Hamilton there. Wow, that's a clean race, I feel like we didn't have much to see there, so... Uh, something we don't see too often on my uh, channel is a repeat race, and uh, it's because this guy was in here. I'll try to like get a screenshot of his profile or something to prove it was him, but uh, pretty cool being able to race. I mean, I didn't even really get to race against him because <laughs> he was back there sticking tires, and I assume he got like caught up by some guys or something, but uh, really cool being able to race real drivers on here, even if... Uh, it doesn't matter, like, who it is, even. Like, being able to race people that, you know, you've raced, or have raced in real life is just so cool. And, uh, got ourselves a nice finish, nice clean race, nice really fun race. Michigan Arca. Definitely recommend it. So, uh, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Bye.